I would say that that would be, wow, <laughs> such an amazing uh, thing to happen. It would make history, and I would say that I have, you know, thank you to the Miss Earth organization, uh, first and foremost, for existing and for making this whole thing possible and for standing up and making a difference. I think it is amazing how they have had the idea to combine entertainment with education to make a difference and to create awareness. That is something that is mind-boggling to me, and to really find a way to branch out and get everyone on board, even young, you know, the young uh, population as well as the older generation, um, to create awareness and do something. Also, draw people in, uh, invite to a debate, and find ways that people can, you know, contribute in their everyday life, you know, even if it's in a small way. So I would say I'm just really, really honored to be a part of Miss Earth and I'm so thankful for Miss Earth for doing what they're doing and making such a statement. So I would say thank you. Well then, all right, congratulations, Denmark, our Miss Earth Fire. And the next title is for Miss Earth Water. And she is Philippines. Again, she has no idea. So let's bring her on the screen. Philippines, we're just doing another round of uh, visual and audio checks. Um, so we're just checking your sound. How's the sound coming across to you? Sounds great. You can hear me loud and clear? Yes. Okay, can you hear this? You are now Miss Earth Water! Congratulations! Philippines, if you have any words prepared, now would be a great time to share them with us. I'm just so grateful for the entire experience and of course to the Miss Earth organization for making us find power in our voices to continue our focus during this trying times so where the world needs us the most and to be more happier. And I can't wait for me and my uh, eco Queen sisters to have an amazing reign. Thank you for the love and always for the love but also for Mother Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your Mrs. Warner from the Philippines. Surrounded by water too. Two more crowns at stake. And the next one is the Miss Earth Air. Now, by this point, in a normal pageant, in under normal conditions, you would know that the final one remaining would be our Miss Earth. This, of course, is completely different. We have five ladies left behind, and none of you know what's going on. So when I announce this crown, we will also get our spectacular moment by announcing Miss Earth 2020. So, for the last of the elemental court, this is for Miss Earth Air, and it goes to Venezuela! All right, Venezuela, welcome back. We were just having a chat to some of the other ladies, and I wanted to share a little bit of news with you, similar to what I shared with them. You are Miss Earth Air! Congratulations, Venezuela! And if you'd like to say anything, either in your local language or in English, please do so now. Estoy muy feliz de haber representado dignamente a mi país Venezuela ante el mundo. I just want to say that I'm really proud of the work that I have done and how I have represented my country, Venezuela. And I just want to thank also uh, the Miss Earth organization because despite of adversity, we're working here for Mother Earth. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Venezuela! All right, finally, the lady who will have a life-changing experience as a beauty queen and also as an advocate for the environment. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to meet your Miss Earth 2020? I have the results here. You've been all nervous about this. This has been quite the year. It's going to need quite the representative to represent Miss Earth for 2020. And that can only go to one lady from a country that's experienced quite a lot this year, USA! Let's bring her on! Hi, 
U.S. Hi, in the USA. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, we were having a few audio problems before, so we were trying to uh, make sure that this is all working properly and uh, you can hear me loud and clear. Yes, it's so much better than before, so I'm very grateful for that. Okay, all right, uh, USA. 2020 has been quite the year of surprises, hasn't it? Especially in your home country, hasn't it? How, how well do you do with surprises? I'm so sorry? How well do you do with surprises? Um, I, you know what, I like surprises. I honestly, I find them quite fun, so. I know some people don't like them, but I love surprise parties, so, yeah. Well, USA has had quite a few surprises in the last year, haven't they? We're just about to maybe add one more. What if I told you you are? This Earth 2020! We wouldn't go without something like this, USA. If you have anything you'd like to say, if you can put the words together, we'd love to hear it. Wait, are we kidding? Or are we... I wouldn't kid about something like this. Not after the year we've all been through. <laughs> This is for a reaction, seriously, though. This is as absolutely as real as we can get it. And here's just a little bit of trivia for you. You were literally the last to find out. Everybody watching this knew a few seconds just before we put you on screen. We announced it, and they knew something you didn't know. But now, we all know that you are our Miss Earth 2020. Congratulations, USA. USA. We're off the air now. This is absolutely real. Nobody's joking around with you. You are our And so another fruitful year for Mother Earth begins. On behalf of Carousel Productions, we'd like to thank our panel of judges, Jewel Beauty Strong, all the national directors. Oh, that's good.